Hello, good morning. Uh, I am today going to talk to you about the DGPS. I am sorry for the noise outside because there, there are people who are working and uh, you know that the nation is facing some difficulties these days. But in any case, we are talking about the DGPS. Now, let us, let us assume that there are two antennas. One antenna, this one, and the another antenna, this one. Okay, the, these are funny articles, but anyway, let us let us take these antennae, all right, and imagine that these are GPS antennae, all right. So this is the height of the antenna, and the antenna is here somewhere, and this particular antenna is going to procure the coordinates, right? No problem. There. Now, as I told you in the last lecture, that look. If you are keeping one G, if you are keeping one GPS like this, and it is going to procure, it is able to see, right, receive the signals directly from four every second. It is going to receive four equations, or it is going to compute every second one particular code. And because satellites are moving, there could be an error. It is possible that there will be an error. error. So what you do is, if you fix this antenna, you keep it stationary and what is going to happen is, this is going to be averaging the coordinates, right? Last coordinate, this coordinate, okay, next second, next second, next second. So it is going to be averaging the coordinates. Now mathematical knowledge says that if you take an average, it is going to give you a better esti estimate of the coordinate. All right, fine. Now, so therefore, this particular satellite, this particular GPS antenna is going to get a better estimate of its position and because it is stationary all right fine now imagine the second antenna now. Now, this is the second antenna okay even this antenna this antenna and this antenna this is stationary this antenna is going to be moving all right this antenna is also receiving four coordinates per second now if this antenna is kept stationary and this antenna is moving this way, this way, whatever way, whatever way possible. Now, GPS conventional GPS knowledge says that if we keep two antennas within a radius of say 25 square kilometer, now there are different opinions, but let us agree on 25 square kilometers. These two antennae see the same GPS satellite. All right. So now what is happening is this particular satellite this particular rover is moving this is the rover antenna and this is the fixed antenna this rover antenna is moving from here to there and procuring its own coordinates this is this antenna is procuring its own coordinates in the meanwhile this antenna is keeping its averaging on all right so it is going to give you better estimate of the coordinates now this is moving all right now every second what is happening is this going this because this is able to maintain its own coordinates all right it knows how much of error is being communicated to this antenna how much of error so suppose for example this position is determined we have kept this antenna fixed for more than 48 hours its position is determined and we say that look now this position is determined and now what i'm going to do every time a new error is computed i'm going to every time a new position is computed I'm going to compute the error okay now this antenna now since these two antennae are seeing the same satellites are in the same vicinity in the same atmosphere it is assumed that these two antennae have the same error okay so whatever error is computed here is transferred to this particular antenna via a radio via a radio signal all right so this error is transferred to this error. So as a result, the error in the computation of position in this particular antenna is removed. Now, typically the atmospheric error is removed. Alright? So it gives a better positioning for this particular antenna. So this is the differential arrangement because I remove the error by differencing the error, removing the error. So therefore, this is what we call as the differential position. Okay, now the communication of error 
from this antenna to this antenna can be done online. For example, when the antenna is procuring its own contents, or can be done through a post processing mode. Now, the post processing mode, people believe that the post processing mode is much more reliable, and therefore people prefer to have a post processing mode. So they go back to the labs, download the data from both the GPS antenna, and then they post process. Now, if you uh, technically speaking that if you want to say that you want the accurate position line so you are going to communicate from this particular antenna to this particular antenna via a radio signal and therefore online some error will be there because of the radio signal going through some interference patterns in the atmosphere it has not disturbances dust particles etc etc whatever whatever could be there to disturb the radio signal but still there will be some better positional accuracy in the gps now if i remove only one, if i have only one single gps the positional error is say three to five meters all right three to five meters if i add one more